Hi, uh, Jonathan York from Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at the investment markets. Um, certainly, October hasn't really disappointed. Um, historically, it's been a pretty volatile month for equities, and that's certainly been the case in uh, 2018. Interesting to note, uh, certainly in the US, uh, the S&P only managed to close up five days, well probably six days now, including today, uh, in October. You know, it's quite an incredible stat, um, you know, but it, it is really quite interesting. Um, you know, certainly the amount of sort of passive investing in these sort of EFTs um, has certainly potentially led to an increase in volatility, but also as well you've got to put it, let's say, into sort of context terms. Um, you know, the crash back in 87 um, was the biggest sort of percentage fall, um, over 20%. Now, if you saw that sort of percentage fall in today's market, you'd be down around 5,700 points. Now, obviously, what will be quite interesting now is sort of the data that comes out. Um, you know, at present, the sort of Fed haven't really come out and said, uh, you know, given the, the current volatility, we're going to look to uh, sort of maybe put on hold the, uh, the hiking cycle. But potentially that must be sort of sitting in the back of their minds and, you know, certainly on the, uh, the next uh, set of uh, employment data, if that is a little bit sort of on the soft side and we continue to see this volatility going into sort of year end, then potentially the uh, December rate hike is off the table. As we come into the sort of close of earnings season in the US, you know, it's certainly been a little bit disappointing, um, but obviously with a backup in uh, sort of uh, prices, you know, valuations appear to be getting back to a more sort of realistic level. And it'll just be interesting now to see, uh, certainly on the retail side, how that sort of goes through into sort of Christmas period and Thanksgiving, consumer confidence, um, and say, you know, really, once you get the midterms out of the way, it would just be very interesting to see how this sort of plays through. So just another sort of interesting antidote uh, that's come through. And every year since the 50s, uh, when you've had a midterms, um, the market has rallied after the midterms into the year end. And yes, we have midterms next week. So what's this space in the US? You know, it could be uh, quite a, uh, an interesting close to, uh, to the year. Potentially an indirect sort of byproduct as well from sort of Trump's uh, trade wars with China and uh, the sort of trade tariffs. Um, China and Japan have actually got together now and had a, uh, a summit. And that, you know, appears to be sort of strengthening the ties between those two countries that really been sort of, you know, um, adversaries for, for sort of quite some time. And that will be, uh, you know, quite a sort of strange byproduct uh, from President Trump's, you know, sort of open hostility towards China in terms of the trade wars. Elsewhere, you've got uh, the Iran sanctions about to sort of kick in uh, big time in November. Um, they're still sort of pumping oil pretty, uh, pretty aggressively. But interestingly, oil has sort of dipped back now and it's closer to sort of $65 a barrel than 75 bucks that it was sort of a couple of weeks ago. No further news out of the EU in terms of the Italian budget. If you remember, uh, EU rejected the Italian budget. And it's just going to be interesting now to see how they sort of reposition that, uh, that budget. A very quiet week on Brexit as well, and you know the clock really is ticking now, and it's getting getting down pretty close to the wire here to get it sort of through both both sets of Parliament uh, before obviously the uh, March 2019 deadline. Although the recent UK budget appeared to imply that the UK was sort of turning the corner and was starting to sort of come out the other side.
Here in New Zealand, uh, Mercury and uh, Infratel have extended the offer for Tilt. If you remember, they're trying to buy the shares at $2.30. Um, there's been that independent valuation from Northington that sort of had a mid price of around $2.79. Um, at present, the sort of take up has been really obviously pretty light uh, uh, in terms of uh, Mercury and Infratel's offer. I think it's less than about 2%. Uh, the independent directors from Tilt are still uh, suggesting that you reject the offer. Um, interesting, they haven't come back with a revised offer in terms of price. Then just sort of sit and buy their time and uh, see if they come back with a revised offer. In the fixed income space, uh, Kiwi Property have got a uh, seven year bond, uh, minimum rates 4%, indicative range on the current uh, margins would be around sort of 4.01 to around 4.11. Uh, and if you are interested in that offer, give us a call on 0800 867 323. But certainly there are plenty of income options available out there and I say if you're interested in discussing what, what is available, say call us on 0800 867 323 or go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles and we look forward to speaking to you soon.